Now at five, fish kill concerns. Local leaders taking additional steps to try to prevent even more devastation in Biscayne Bay. The foul smelling situation has lingered now for days. That's right, and now scientists think they know why this is happening. CBS 4's Ted Scouten joins us from Morningside Park in Miami with what they have found. As air raiders pump much needed oxygen into Biscayne Bay, we're learning the cause of that massive fish kill. It was not related to any toxic algae. Uh, it really seems to be high temperature and low dissolved oxygen. Lee Hefty is an environmentalist with Miami-Dade County. He says the biggest problem in this die-off was with the northern half of the bay that it simply got too hot, which brought oxygen levels down to zero in some places. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez says it's much different from the southern bay. We have to somehow look and see how we can recirculate the water better in that area. Uh, the reasons why the southern bay is doing so much better than the northern bay is that is that it's much more open and, and the water circulates. That means that the water temperature remains, you know, much cooler. County crews are also on the bay looking at seagrass die off as all this unfolds. That plays a role too. Normally in a healthy ecosystem, these seagrass beds uh, would provide oxygen uh, during this time period. Um, but the other factor that we're getting because of so much nutrients is we're getting algae growing in the water now. Andy Dehart is with Marine Conservation at Frost Science. He said aside from the seagrass problems, we have to look at what's going into the bay, like sewage and pesticides from runoff. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez is looking to take action. We're looking at all kinds of different filtration systems uh, that we can implement as quickly as possible with our Miami Forever Bond to have clean water be going into the bay, not dirty water. A lot of this does begin in our backyards, so during the rainy season, not using um, certain pesticides, certain fertilizers in their yard, don't use Roundup. Um, these are all things that are, are basically washing off people's yards and into the canals and into the sewer system and, and running straight out to the bay. Experts say this is not one of those situations where you can just snap your fingers and fix the problem. They say it's going to take a while to get Biscayne Bay back into a healthier position. In Morningside, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.